Good afternoon, Nerd Fam, and welcome back to beautiful Barcelona, Spain. We're here at Mobile World Congress at the end of day four of the Cube's Ooh. live coverage. <laughs> it's been an absolutely fantastic week. I'm joined by analyst Shelly Kramer, and we are going to have an awesome last session for you. Someone who sees across verticals. David Fan, thank you so much for being here with us from Salesforce. Thanks for having me. How you doing? Great How you feeling? Here. You're holding up. You look well. You look like you're holding up well for four days of the show. Yeah, I wish uh, we'll have a few more days. This is so yeah. exciting, <laughs> right? Like, uh, I know. know. Well, I mean, between the great networking, Barcelona, and all the fun conversations we're having, and the food, and exactly the tapas, <laughs> the vino. I, I mean, I want to live here now. I, yeah. I, you know, can we Same still here. move in? Same yeah. here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, tell us a little bit about. I mean. You sit at an apex where you can see a lot of different verticals and things happening. What are some of the trends in the communications industry right now? Yeah, it's uh, very interesting, because if you look at the trends, uh, you can get a lot of the information from this conference as well. Um, yeah. There are three repeating themes that we often hear about. One is about customer experience, right? Like the customer expectation keeps rising yeah. um, in the communication space. The service providers are looking at how to keep that up. Yeah. Um, it's interesting because we did a survey recently uh, in collaboration with uh, Omdia uh, and asked uh, 500 uh, communication service providers, employees, what are top of mind for you? Yeah. And uh, what, uh, the, one of the things they said is about um, uh, customer experience, uh, digital first, self-service. In fact, uh, half of the respondents said that 50% of the sales and service um, interaction will be made only online in two years. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, so that's one of them. Uh, the second trend that we often hear about is um, the need to accelerate product innovations, to quickly launch offer to reduce the time to market. Uh, the third trend that we often hear about is uh, how to um, uh, improve the operation efficiency. Yeah. yeah. How to make things more productive and how to reduce the cost to serve. You know, I think that when you think about, when we talk about customer experience, of course it's incredibly important that we serve those end user customers. And that's not new, right? I mean, we, that's been a reality forever. Um, but I think also there's the issue of focusing on the contact center agent. And that, you know, when you think about it, yeah. they come to work every day and their deal, I mean, people aren't calling them because they're happy. Because they want to give them a compliment. Here, people yeah. are calling them because they're pissed off, yeah. they have a problem, they want a solution, and sometimes, you know, they may have been trying to do it yourself and you get frustrated and everything else. So every interaction is you're having with someone not having their best day. So being able to have solutions, technology solutions that make an agent's job easier, faster, better equip them to serve the customer, it's a better end result all the way around. So. Yeah, I agree, I agree. We need to look after them. They, they do have a very, oh really, really tough yes. job. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and, and, I, and there's so many ways, you know, we, we think about the user experience as knowledge workers or in other ways, but everyone on a team deserves a great experience, whatever, yeah. that, whatever that might be. Kind of sitting there, what are some of the biggest challenges that Salesforce company, or, uh, clients are currently trying to solve? Yeah, I think one thing that we can help, like going back to the question earlier, I think that's the wonder about technologies, right? Technology can help people to do things faster. Um, I think uh, AI, everybody's talking about AI. We haven't heard anything about <laughs> AI this week at all. This is the first, oh, actually. Right. What, what does that acronym stand for? <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe we should extend this and we can spend more time on AI. Um, I think AI is something that will really change the way people work. Uh, yes. especially about generative AI. Yeah. Um, I think uh, in the same research that we did, I think a lot of people have already started to use AI, yeah. predictive AI. Yeah. Two thirds of the respondents are still thinking about how to use their generative AI. Yeah. yeah. A lot of conversations, but not as much implementation. Had a lot of discussions around that and kind of the gap between the hype and the yay, exactly. and then also what are we, what are we doing with yeah. it? Yeah. One, one thing that we, we constantly hear from our customer is AI is great, generative AI is great, but how do you make it manageable yeah. and deployable? Yeah. I think that's the key to success. Well, and I think that you know one of the things to Savannah's point, the question about customer challenges is, I think one of the main challenges that customers have is it's a data issue. It's, yeah. We have so much data, how do we get our arms around it? How do we use this data? And I think that really is what Salesforce is known for helping solve for 
um, is being able to, especially in the contact center, AI can help quickly pull out important pieces of information and help manage the, you know, help use data to solve customer problems more quickly. And I think that's that's what we need. That's exciting. Yeah, absolutely. It is very exciting. Speaking of exciting, yeah. Salesforce had some announcements this week, yeah? Tell us about those. Yeah, so we announced the first generative AI power application for communications, building inquiry manager. So going back to what we said about how we can help the service agent to be better, that's what this is all about. Leveraging generative AI to ask them to handle some of the most com common uh, uh, requests that they get. What is my bill? Why is my bill so high? We want to empower them to allow them to summarize lots of data behind the scene yeah. and, uh, and provide trusted recommendation so that they can communicate back to, uh, to their customers. I, I think the key word is about trust. Uh, I, I was going to actually call that out. Keep going. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Because I think AI, it's, I, I think a lot of people will experiment AI, but how do you actually make it manageable going back to some of our customers' concern? And this is where Salesforce come in. How do you provide a, a trusted platform so that you can make sure that you ask the right question and the, right, the information is protected so that you don't actually share your customer information with other people and make sure that there's no hallucination, not, no toxicity right. of the response and present back to the agent and let them to have confidence to share this information with their customers. That's, you bring up such a good point because you know there's there's hype and we're all excited. We're technologists. Yeah. You know AI is very exciting. However, the general public there's still a lot of doomerism, a lot of fear, and particularly in these types of roles, people are afraid that that AI will unseat them from their job. The reality is what we're talking about here is I think it's just going to make your job suck less. But in order to do <laughs> that, you have to trust it, and I think that's that's great. What sort of how does Salesforce help build that trust? Yeah, so Salesforce has been in the AI business for 10 years. We are the number one, uh, we are the leader in AI. Uh, we are um, uh, doing, generating one trillion predictions Whoa. every week. One trillion. <laughs> <laughs> one okay. trillion predictions a week. Right, so we- Casual. We Cheapers. <laughs> <laughs> well, they're also the biggest CRM, I mean, arguably the yeah. biggest CRM platform there is, so that's not a surprise, really. That's right. That's Still an right. incredible volume, though. Yeah. 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 So the, the beauty of this is all these predictions are embedded into your CRM, so that every time when you interact with your customer, whether whether you want to market something to them, yeah, um, uh, sell them something or service them, uh, you have AI to sort of walk with you. Um, Einstein Copilot was launched because of that to give you the ability to ask the right questions, protect the information, and get trusted results back. So the Billing Inquiry Manager, this newly announced offering, this is available in the Communications Cloud console, so it's easy to access, they're already using, agents are already using this, so it's easy to find and use. Yes, yes, it's part of the Communications Cloud, it's all embedded, okay. so that it's available to the agent console uh, as, a, as a great tool to guide the agent through those common uh, tasks that they have to deal with. Do you get to hear back from any of these agents on how, they, how they're enjoying that experience? We have uh, a lot of feedback from customers this week yeah. as we are showing them. Everyone just, one is that they like the concept of yeah. how you can guide the agents yeah. through this, yeah. but the thing that they really like is what is underneath the hood. Like, again, going back to how do you make it manageable? How do yeah. you make it deployable so that you don't um, share uh, information, confidential information externally, and again, going back to the whole trusted recommendation coming back from the engine. Yeah, I, it's, it's impressive. I mean, Salesforce, you've been a, a leader in so many spaces for a long time. It makes sense that you're the trusted partner in this case. What, what, what's your advice for customers just hearing about this right now who might be interested in going down this path? Yeah, well, trust is our number one core value. Um, I, I think my recommendation to customer who wants to embark on this journey is uh, make sure that you have a right data strategy, right? I, I think, Shelly, you mentioned about um, it is important that you have good data. Data is the foundation of AI. Right. And uh, to make sure that you have a good data strategy and uh, Salesforce at Data Cloud to help you to um, harmonize your data, could be in Salesforce or externally, and, um, and allow you to harmonize, allow you to have gain insight, and to be able to act upon it. So Love that's that. what I would suggest customers to do. 
Yeah, it sounds like sounds like good advice. I would take it if I was them. Awesome. I, you mentioned that Salesforce has been on the AI path for over a decade. Not surprising. How are you looking in the future? What, where are you going to be directing the AI ship within Salesforce next? Well, we believe that uh, the AI will become more autonomous uh, over time. Uh, we believe that every interaction can be powered by AI. And you can see that throughout our, um, our applications, whether, whether you are generating marketing content, whether you're generating sales interactions, uh, email to your customers, yeah. or, um, or doing case summary, right, yeah. through the service scenario. All those can be powered by the generative AI, and this use case will continue. Yeah. Uh, it will become uh, more, um, uh, more sophisticated, more autonomous, mm -hmm. and uh, the future is bright. You know, I think it's a little bit like, um, you know how we, we roam around with our devices and Wi-Fi just happens, right? And it's just kind of, we don't even think about it. It just is there, it's, progress, it's helping us live our lives in every way. And I think really that's what we're seeing, and we're at the beginning stages of it, but I think that's what we're seeing when it comes to AI. Whether it's, you know, you're using AI when you're writing your text messages, or when you're writing emails, or when you're, you know, doing your contact center job. I think that it will just become so ubiquitous, yeah. and so we don't even think about it. It's right. just there, it's just like Wi-Fi. It's just there, it's powering our That's lives. Right. And But the funny thing is, is that when you don't have it, you know, it's like, wow. I forgot how, how great this was. So I think that we're really in the beginning steps of getting to that point where it's just everywhere, it's, it's carrying the load, it's making everything we do better, more efficient, more productive, all those sort of things. And it's, a, it's an exciting time. So. Oh yeah, the future, the future is absolutely bright. I got a question for you, David. Taking off your Salesforce hat, and just as a human being on this planet, what has you most excited about AI? Well, I think as a, um, as a, as a person, I think AI just helps me to enjoy the information a lot more, right? Because you have information that is readily available to you. Yeah. Um, so you just are able to get things done quicker. You will be able to uh, spend more time on other things that you would like to do. Right, it's, it's exactly, just, yeah. more efficiency. More efficiency, exactly. Yeah, more so. efficiency to have more fun and to eat more tapas. Yeah. <laughs> have more tacos here, yeah. uh, tapas here, yeah, 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 and yeah. Uh, enjoy it outside a bit more so that I can get uh, my work done quicker. It, that's what I'm talking about. Speaking of, any highlights for you in Barcelona this week? I think it's all about the customers for us. Yeah. Uh, I think uh, to be able to meet with a lot of industry experts, spending lots of time with customers, learn from them, sharing our visions with them, that is the best part about this conference. And of course, spending time with you too. Well, <laughs> oh, he's smooth. He is smooth, <laughs> isn't he? Okay, I'll so. take it, day four. <laughs> what about, as you've kind of walked the, the show floor, have you seen anything that's really been, I mean, there's a helicopter over there, there's an AI-powered ambulance, I mean, there's all different kinds of, what, what's the coolest thing that you've seen while you've been here? I think the, the coolest thing for me is seeing the reaction when people understand how AI can actually work, right? How can you, how can we make it deployable and manageable? The, you can see the light bulb just keep blinking yeah. when, you, when you show them how underneath the hood, how can you actually make it work in your real life? Uh, making it tangible, making it uh, practical for them, that was, that, that the reaction was priceless in my mind. Yeah. Oh, I love to hear that. And, and, it, and it is so nice, that, that customer feedback, the sense of community. I will say as a collective community here in the, in the mobile space and even just in tech nerd land in general, I do feel like there's a lot of joy and excitement yeah. and, and, and curiosity. I hope, yeah, I don't know. I'm, lo I'm loving the optimistic vibes. It, it's a great community. There's a lot of innovations uh, as, as we come together along with our partners. Uh, it's so exciting that you can have all these creative ideas and, uh, and, and we can push the industry forward. So I, I think that this is all good. Well, this is, a, this is a tech nerd's paradise, you know? I mean, that's really part of the joy that you feel is that we're all immersed in this innovative space, doing different things, focusing on different things, but we are really watching the future unfold. So it's easy to get excited about it, you know, absolutely.
Yeah. It really is. Well, David, thank you so much for being here with us. This was fantastic, exciting, insightful. Congratulations on the announcements this week. And thank we so really look forward to having you on the show again, hopefully with some customers, and we can see how this yeah, is all getting for sure. we'll love to. in the wild next time. Shelly Kramer, what a fabulous week together. Yes. I appreciate all of our time. And thank all of you for tuning in from home or wherever you are around this beautiful planet. We're here from the Cube studio in Barcelona, where we've decided to move in at Mobile World Congress. <laughs> My name's Savannah Peterson. You're watching the Cube, the leading source for enterprise tech coverage. Thank you.